Pardon? Oh. Brother, what's up? You are here. Uh, welcome to my channel, my boy. Hmm? Hmm? You got your intro and we'll start again. My channel Math World. Today we're going to start with a new chapter. I guess you must have realized with that intro of mine that it's triangles. Triangles was there in the 9th standard. It is there in your 10th standard curriculum as well. But do you know why are we studying it? If you have still not got answers for that, then why am I here? I'm there to help you out. Okay, and it is because earlier. It was difficult for places that you couldn't actually reach out to find out their height and so on. So, for example, Mount Everest, which was very difficult to climb in those times. It was difficult to tell what is the height of Mount Everest. And the best way that scientists and all uh, mathematicians could think of is using triangles. So they picturized the entire Mount Everest as the biggest triangle, uh, triangle and a small triangle over here. And then they used something called as similarity. And now you must be still thinking similarity, how, what, why, and all those questions are there in your head. And basically that is what we are going to learn in this chapter. And one of the main difference in your 9th standard triangles chapter and chapter that you're going to study now in 10th standard is that we studied so much about congruent triangles and this time we are going to study about similar triangles. There is a difference and if you don't know the difference then it will become a little difficult for you to understand this chapter. So let's go in the next section and understand what exactly is the difference between congruent triangles and what is the meaning or difference between similar triangles. Let us first understand the difference between similar and congruent. Let's not straight away go to triangles but look at these two glasswares that I have over here. Now would you call these two glasswares similar or would you call them congruent? Take a look. Okay. I'm sure you might be already having an answer ready with you. And you will say that these two glasswares are similar. And if I ask you why are they similar, you will tell me that they are made of the same kind of material. They are made with a similar design that is there. Correct. And if, but if I ask you, why do you say that these are similar and not congruent? Then your next answer would be probably because of the size. That means this one is smaller as compared to this container. So and that's very true. These two containers are similar and the similarity comes because they are not of the same size. If they were, then we would call them that these two containers are congruent. They are similar. Now let us take another example. Okay. Take a look at these two spoons that I have. Would you call them similar or would you call them congruent? And your answer would be probably that they are congruent because the material is same, the style of that spoon is same, the shape, the color, everything is basically same. So in such cases, we call them congruent. But we are not dealing with a three-dimensional article. We are dealing with figures 
which are on 2D. So how would you classify them as a two uh, similar and congruent? Take a look at these two dimensional figures. Look at these two. Would you call them congruent or would you call them similar? What about these two? And what about these? No. Over here, I cannot call them congruent nor they are similar because they don't even look alike. So they're not similar and they're not of the same size. So definitely they're not congruent nor they're not similar. These two figures, okay, these two figures are similar. This is a square. This is also a square. So I can call them similar, but I can't call them congruent because their size is different. In these cases, the triangles are similar, but they are not congruent. To say an object or a diagram is congruent, it should be exactly same. In other words, if I would remove this figure from the frame and replace it with another one, you should not be able to tell the difference. Then I would say that this square and the square that I replaced are congruent. This is a very crude way of understanding the difference between congruent and something as similar. To tell you, it starts with similarity first and then it goes into congruency. So an object or a figure will be similar and then we can prove it is congruent. But if an object itself is not similar, then we can't prove it congruent. So I can tell you, I can say two figures, if they are congruent, then definitely they are similar it is not true vice versa that means two figures if they are similar they need not be congruent now let us focus more on triangles the properties or characteristics of a triangle is based on its angles and its sides which means if I talk about one triangle then it has one two three angles and it has three sides in total six parameters three angles three sides that is the characteristics of a triangle. Now if I have to say that this triangle is similar to this triangle then something of this triangle has to be equal to something of this triangle as well. I hope you have understood till now whatever we have discussed if you did then please make sure that you hit the like button and share the video with your friends so that they too can learn triangles a little better way. That's it for now. This is Chobel signing off. Bye bye.